ready to start his fifth season as Bulldog head coach. Pat Sullivan will open up uh, this 2011 campaign here at home on September 3rd against Georgia Southern, the preseason number one team in the country by several polls. He'll wrap up uh, the regular season uh, late November, back on the plains in Auburn, Alabama, as we celebrate the <coughs> 40th anniversary of uh, this gentleman winning the Heisman Trophy. Um, he uh, still has one of the most, I think, gracious and sincere acceptance speeches in Heisman history, and we're awfully proud to have him share those same qualities with us here at Sanford University. Our Bulldog head football coach, Pat Sullivan. Pat. Thanks, Mike, and Mr. Neal, it's wonderful to see you. Uh, great to see Mike, my old teammate. You mentioned the Heisman, and it was a couple of years ago, and give you a little bit back. Uh, you know, just about guys, all the games on TV, you watch them up on the bus coming home, you watch them all during the day. There was only one, one game that was on TV, it's called the Game of the Week. And we played Tennessee. To tell you how uh, it's different, the ninth game of the year, we played Georgia in Athens. Both of us were undefeated. They were number four in the country, and we were number five. The game was on TV. The tickets were $7.50. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the Tennessee game, uh, Mike there, and probably one of the main reasons that uh, I won the high school was uh, that game was on TV and it was being broadcast throughout the nation. We were behind about two minutes to go in the game, if I'm correct. By six, Tennessee's driving on about our 30, 35 going in. They fumbled, Mike Neal recovered. We were fortunate to go down and score in a two minute drive and win the game. That was, uh, that was a big, big thing for us. So it's better to be lucky than do that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so uh, you'll know, Mike is our starting linebacker. Sean's there, and Sean's one of our smaller linebackers at about 210. They go to about what's uh, 240, something like that. So it, it's, it's changed. But uh, to, to say uh, I'm excited about today, we're all excited about the new year every time we get started. Before I, I go on, I'd like to introduce our staff. I think we have the, the finest staff that uh, in working together that, I, that I've been with. And I'll just start right at the back and do it real quick. James Joseph coaches our running back. Travis Trickett coaches our, our slots and, and uh, our tight ends. Brett Lashley, our quarterback's offensive coordinator. Sam Shade uh, coaches our corner. Ross Newton uh, has got our linebackers. Uh, Antonio Carter's got our wideouts. Billy dee has got our safeties and defense coordinator Brandon Herring, our offensive line. And uh, Roy Seegers coaches our defensive line, our special teams coordinator. Uh, I've told them, and I'll say it in front of you, they have worked hard and in, in brought in enthusiasm to our players, I think it's carried over. Uh, last year, I'll be honest with you, it was a disappointing year for us. Uh, I will, we didn't end up like we all had hoped. And we had a, a renewed commitment, enthusiasm. We had 25 seniors uh, on, our, on our team last year. It was a big senior class. A lot of them, we should have been able to register. But when we started uh, five years ago, uh, we, we weren't. <coughs> we were thin in numbers and uh, had, a, had a ways to go. We went to the OVC. That was a step up I, from the conference they were in. And Dr. Westmoreland came and he said, oh, we're thinking about going to the Southern Conference. I said, that'll be fine. I didn't know what the Southern Conference was. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, and you just, Evidence, uh, uh, you know, Georgia Southern's number one. If they're not number one, the total App State's number one. The total we got them in the fourth game. Right? But uh, Wofford's in the top ten. But it's a quality league. I'm excited about about being here. So we'll find out early uh, how we are. But uh, I'm excited about our team, and that uh, 
I think we've had a, a, a great enthusiasm. These guys have, have committed themselves. I'd like to introduce four of our players. Alex Davis is a defensive end for us, been starting for four years. And got a, a chance to have a, a fan of your preseason all-conference. Charlie Sanford, our starting left tackle. Student athlete, a decent scholar. Glad to have Charlie. Ryan Duchock, we're glad to have you coming back. Ryan's a junior in our starting center. And then Sean Thompson. Uh, Sean is uh, going to wear our number five jersey this year. Number five jersey is named after Charles Williams, who was a player I did not know before he passed away uh, before I got here. But he was a young man that was a student, was a leader, was a team player, and always doing the right things. Each year, the coaching staff in the spring or the summer uh, goes through and, and picks out a play. This year, Sean Thompson's gonna wear our number five. And, uh, we're excited about that for Sean. Fixing to graduate, I was reading the media guide last night, this uh, thing he's gonna miss most about Sanford was gonna be what? The calf, huh? <laughs> anyway, not we're, we're excited about that. Uh, I think that uh, our classes are starting to balance out. I mentioned we had 25 seniors last year. We've only got 11 this year. But as the, we've built the thing, the attrition, uh, we, uh, you know, start to get up, get a balance in there. So I don't know how we're going to do it this year, but I like this football team. They have worked from the off season through spring practice, through the summer, and grades, and everything, all the little things. We've been close. Now we need to finish. That's about it. And uh, so uh, we're excited about our, our freshman class that, that we got. You know, obviously, we're going to miss people like Chris Evans, and Bryce Smith, John Michael Clay, and Thomas Gray, you know, all those guys that have, that have been here. But I think we got guys that's going to take the place. We just got to get out and go play, and uh, we're, we'll look forward to that. Questions? Coach, I'm just saying that, I mean, and talking to you in years previous, you sound pretty strong that this year you feel like the pieces may fall in place. Well, I like the work in them, you know, and doing the little things. We've been so close. We missed kick here, we missed tackle later. Our kids have played their rear end on. You know, we've been in virtually every ball game. Only one I can remember that, you know, uh, I was really disappointed about that was the Chattanooga game a year ago. But we have, we have taken them to the wire, uh, you know, two years in a row against Furman. It comes down to basically the last play of the game. We missed two extra points out here to, to send it in overtime. And next year we miss a short field goal to win it. You know, just things like that that we've got to get it over the hump. To, to do it. And uh, talk about having you know, like guys like Alex and Charlie just there. Yeah. I mean, all these guys that you have here, how important are they to your team? To the team? Oh, they're extremely important. I mean, you know, these are who, we got some talented freshmen coming in. But the work ethic that they set, that's going to, you know, show these guys the way. And uh, I know, and I, you can probably see them, that my motor is running. <laughs> and, uh, and season. And, uh, so I can't wait to, to get started. Uh, we, we had our first practice yesterday, got cut short about an hour, but it was enthusiastic and uh, went good. Big, big key is to stay healthy, and uh, we, we got to do that. Coach, what about this new offense? Well, it, a lot of the things that we're doing now, we've done a little bit in the past, but I, hopefully we're taking it to another level. Rex come in along with Travis and, and James and uh, AC and Brandon on, on that side of the ball, and uh, we've played an up-tempo, basically it's fast break off. Uh, you gotta be in shape, right guys? <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh, you know, we've got to, our the whole is no secret to it. You know, 
we got to win in the third and fourth quarter. If we're going to if we're going to be successful, uh, everybody said, of course, you know, Red came from Auburn, Oregon last year. Both those teams played in, in the national championship game. If you go back and study and look, how many games were you behind at half or, or just tied there? Or at least seven or eight. Seven or eight, and you win it. You win it late, and that comes back to conditioning and taking care of the little thing. And so that's uh, the same way with Oregon. I know Chris Brasfield was on our staff was at Oregon. You know, he talked about the, the same thing when we talked to Salsa. Anybody? Any questions? Before I sit down, I better have my boss. <laughs> yeah, Fred. It's the first time, Coach, we've had a four year starting quarterback. Can you talk a little bit about that? Is he going to start? Dustin has been started as a freshman and come along. But the, the point that I'm making is everything's kind of open. And uh, we've had some young guys, Fred Hardman, Ben Neal, both those guys, you know, we redshirted a year ago. They had, they had outstanding strength. And, you know, I think Dustin will be the quarterback. But we've got how many more days, Fred? About 28. And uh, so he hasn't done anything to say he's not going to be. But right now, we'll, let's go learn it.